Hi guys, welcome to the Slates Team Season Play Review. As always, you can smash 24 likes. We also meant for more as bonus. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter at GLegend. This time, guys, we're focusing on Team of the Season O'Donnell from Walsall. 72 diving, 60 hand, 60 and 70 kick, and 75 reflexes, 60 speed, and 65 positioning. He cost us 23,250 coins, 3 star weak foot, 1 star skill moves, 6 games played so far. He has been absolutely solid as a rock, really enjoyed using him guys, miles better than Team of the Season Jason Lutefire who I would use as a comparison, much better stats, absolutely enjoyed using him guys. Jumping into the O'Donnell's in game stats guys, 61 acceleration, 63 jumping, 64 reactions, 58 sprint speed, 64 strength, with 72 diving, 59 handling, 70 kicking, 65 positioning and 75 reflexes. He ha as I said, is a traditional goalkeeper, 3 star right foot, 1 star skill moves with the goalkeeper long throw tree, which is actually quite useful for him I've noticed, so all in all he is a cracking goalkeeper guys. Jumping into his in-game guys, he was very enjoyable to use guys, he was really reliable making some amazing top class saves, so in terms of that his diving st stood out right away, reflexes he was very quick, um, speed was amazing, sometimes for crosses he was getting them he was going out and punching crosses out there and it was completely unexpected and sometimes these were coming at key moments as well so it was even handier. And then sometimes if there was an offside, mo or it became like an offside shot which I didn't expect he was getting to them. He was doing things that I was not expecting but then obviously like some goalkeepers he wasn't even going down for some shots which was a bit of a let down. So I'm not sure if that's like a timing or a speed issue but it kind of hurt him a bit. But he was still really reliable in that aspect guys, and for 23k, there's been very few in the market guys, so it's quite interesting to see, but um, 10 to 40k is what his price range is on the Xbox, and 15 to 60k on the PlayStation 4. I would say it's about 15k, 15 to 18k on the Xbox, is, um, sorry, PlayStation, and about 10 to 15k on the Xbox One. In terms of... His overall guys, I'd give him an 8 out of 10, really enjoyable, miles better than Luke Viler, and definitely underrated guys, highly recommend them, smash the likes, sub if you're new, take it easy and I will see you all.